Breaking news. Bully Ray, a WWE Hall of Famer, has shared on social media about his disagreement with CM with Rhea Ripley. He's currently reading punk stories on Raw. Hefty financial commitment to both narratives. The second city of SCNC is battling Drew McIntyre for a while. Their battle at the Royal for a while now. The previous AU was the outcome of Rumble. Champion getting hurt in a way that kept him off the field for a few months. They, at last, squared up at SummerSlam. Seth Rollins was the special guest. Special guest referee for the Scottish match. R. Ripley's first match was won by Warrior. Liv Morgan's feud is quite similar. Mother was hurt by the current as well. Female world champion and was eliminated from action similar to Punk for a few months. SummerSlam saw Rhea lose as well because of Participation of a third party. This week on Raw, Damien and Rhea Ripley, priests, were beaten by the recent Judgment Day on CM Punk's show, pushed Drew McIntyre to a wrestling match, match in Berlin's WWE Bash. Bully Ray took to X to express his uncertainty. Which plot line does he care about more? Stated that having this issue is beneficial for WWE, since it indicates that the narratives are captivating at Berlin's bash. It's going to be Morgan vs. and Dominic Mysterio versus the terrifying twins in a mixed tag match. Compare the environment at WWE backstage. The tension in Raw was electric, so thick. A knife may be used to cut it as the renowned Triple H arrive through the maze like corridors. His, my mind was racing with ideas, battling a problem that had been Weeks after weeks, the current tales of two of the most divisive WWE characters, numbers one of the main players in the women's category, along with CM Punk, acclaimed as the greatest in the world, had left him divided between business and loyalty and the company's future, which he assisted. Form Raw had taken Rhea Ripley by storm. Her ascent to fame was quite rapid. Oh, meteoric solidifying with each match, her position as a formidable woman departing, a path of shattered opponents, dreams following her association with, the day of judgment had only strengthened her, the aura of unbeatable Triple H had consistently admired her unwavering determination and her unreserved mentality characteristics that brought up memories of his childhood, but there was an uncomfortable quality to them. She was walking under a sinister influence of the Day of Judgment, headed by Finn Balor, had transformed her into a seeming, nearly erratic across the other side of the spectrum was CM Punk's WWE comeback, had been among the most discussed moments in the history of wrestling following years, the reintroduction of a way Punk brought up memories of the past when his disobedient nature and harsh advertisements turned him Becoming well-known, Triple H possessed complex past with Punk Punk. The relationship had never been easy, characterized by ego conflicts, ideas, but Triple H was unable to refute the influence of Punk on the field or his, a capacity to captivate a crowd. But as, as much as he valued the legacy of Punk, he was aware that Punk tended to cause his present state of anarchy wherever he went. Article on Raw was not an anomaly. The lockbox. Some in the room felt that Punk was a voice that could once more say, tremble the pillars of others in WWE saw him as a ticking time bomb. Bomb that is always ready to explode. Bring the business down with him, Rhea with, nonetheless, had the complete backing of the Day of Judgment, and hence, a section of the roster that thought her assertiveness was required to maintain the women's divide, a pertinent and dreaded issue. Triple H moved into the gorilla posture, where the program was being hosted. Monitors showed the promotion for Rhea Ripley, where she addressed the unadulterated assembly. Her tone and words were acerbic. Threatening, she revealed her intentions to destroy everyone who attempted to oppose her. Rule and the nature of the Day of Judgment, invincible. There was a mixture of cheers and alcohol, however. It was evident that Rio was a formidable opponent, as Triple H couldn't help but watch. But 
feel a mixture of pride and worry. Rio came from the NXT framework. Having raised her and watched her grow, validation of his was listed on the main roster. Labor, but the surrounding darkness, the impact of Judgment Day on her, concerned him since he was aware of them. He was afraid of what power could do to someone. That Rhea could become lost in the procedure immediately after Rhea's promotional camera pained to a scene behind the scenes where, while being interviewed, CM Punk was his typical self-assured, eloquent, and comprehensive, utter contempt for anyone who dared to question him. Punk discussed his plans on Raw, how he came to purify the organization of the corruption ingrained throughout. At its center, he fired rounds at the existing managerial references to previous grievances and made threats to remove anyone who blocked his path, including individuals who were taken into consideration. Invincible Triple H tightened his mouth as he heard that Punk was just as explosive as constantly pressing buttons and igniting the burning zone debate, although there was some truth to some of his remarks and that reality was what made Triple H's choice more challenging. Punk had the capacity to infuse Raw with a new, unadulterated energy that might be advantageous or disadvantageous, but the danger of allowing Punk to go crazy was huge. The last thing that WWE required was an additional public fallout as the program went on Triple H, discovered that he was pacing his office, scheduled meetings, and prepared decisions, yet Rhea was always on his mind, and Punk they stood for two extremely. Several facets of the company, the Rhea, Punk, and the women's division's future, a remnant of the past that remained unfading, both had the ability to influence the direction of Raw, but in a very distinct how the turning point was reached during the principal gathering with CM Punk and Rhea Ripley, discovered they were in the same ring, was a confrontation more than a contest that had been fermenting for several weeks. Rhea was flanked by Day of Judgment. She maintained her position as Punk by himself, but defiantly confronted her. There was obvious tension between the two, conversed, each attempting to make a claim. Their supremacy over the alternative Triple H, observed from behind, aware that this moment might define Raw's future. If the fight between Punk and Rhea could rend the separate locker rooms, although it might also develop a plot that would take place in one of the biggest rivalries in history. WWE had seen the inquiry was at how much it cost when the program aired. Triple H was aware that he needed to choose. He held the power to decide Raw's fate. May agreed to Rhea's backing of her. Supremacy and the judgment's assent. They or he may give him the back punk. The ability to transform Raw into his own image. Each option has advantages and disadvantages, risks, but one thing was evident in that the legend could have no middle ground. Divided, divided between allegiance to the respect for the past and the future, but he was aware that whatsoever choice he made would result in consequences that would be felt when he departed and for years to come. The arena that evening, he was unable to move, the conviction that whatever raw, would never return to normal.